Without further ado, I'm going to state my normal rule and then I'm going to tell you why I'm breaking it later on, but yeah. So, welcome to 1121 Patch Notes. For those who are unaware, I never read the betas for patch notes. I never read the PBE because nine times out of ten it gets changed beforehand. And the other reason is that apparently everyone likes watching me lose my collectives on streams. So, might as well give the people what they want whilst also, you know, som sombering myself for the fact that I know this is going to get worse. So, I actually, like, detest the fact that, like, a lot of these changes never even make it through or some of them shouldn't make it through and I don't, like, ever, like bracing myself for this kind of pain so i basically just say well they happen every two weeks and i just psych myself out for two weeks and yes <laughs> like the new opinion but yes <laughs> i sometimes wonder what happens when i leave my community alone at night and uh yeah that's that's what happens it's like a like a cat running off into the night and breaking everything 16 hours of worlds and 20 hours of other youtube stuff to catch up well that's crazy that's so much stuff so many videos all right Ah, 1121 patch notes. Knock, knock, who's there? Knock, knock, who? Knock out round. Blah, that was crap. Anyway, gr groups and planes were heckin' hype. I, okay, can we just, like, I get that everyone thinks they were hype. For me, they were the worst thing imaginable. Like, I'm glad that NA pulled it out of the bag, but where the hell was this talent all year, bruh? Huh? D don't give me, like, the one drop of hopium and expect me to just believe in you for, for playoffs now, bud. Because I, I'll, I'll, I'm ready to be disappointed. But, ugh, anyway. <laughs> well, straight isn't stopping anytime soon. This patch, we've got lots of champion and rune adjustments chugging along. As well as a very big change to Gore Drinker to keep fighters on track. That is the biggest lie ever because this, this change isn't even aimed at fighters. It's aimed at everyone else. But yes. I think it's recent since why most of Worlds has been sleeper until four way tiebreaker that other match happened. Probably. Wait, why are you gonna deal with me? What did I do? What the fuck? <laughs> you can't enable them like this, Vin. You have to get the newspaper out and bonk them every single time they do it. <laughs> they uh, they all need a bonking, but it's funny, it's true. I can't I can't I can't not uh, they are cats, it's true. It's literally like I hold a laser <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, you got a point. You got a point. You got a point. All right. All right. So, patch 1120. Oh, no. This is actually happening. Oh. Oh. Hang on. I'll turn on the fan just in case I start overheating. All right. So. So, against everyone's information, oh, hey, no abuse. <laughs> so, against everyone's feedback, right, I've decided to go through with this. <sighs> Since the initial, original announcement of response has been varied between regions, so we're shifting our approach and only disabling all chat where players were most receptive to trying it out. This test will last for 11.21 and 11.22. In regions where the disable rolls out, all chat will still be available in custom games and no other tools will, are being disabled. Uh, not to burst your bubble, Rito, but where? Where the ever-living fuck is the change coming through? Like, what realm's it on? Is it on your realm, chat? So, Riot didn't specify. Vin butchered his, his own version of it for shits and gigs. Apparently, everyone here, everyone here's a Riot employee doesn't know where the hell it actually happened. So, this this isn't even specified. So, where, where is it? Is it on my server? Then again, you guys don't even have the patch yet, do you? So, no, no point in me even asking you. I guess we'll find out what server it goes on when it goes on it. Doesn't really help, I suppose, but that's where we're at, I suppose. Fucking, bleh. I don't know. That's very confusing to me. 
most receptive to trying it out. What, what, who, who were they surveying for this? Seriously. Who the hell were they surveying for this? Twitter and Reddit. But that, but that's not region specific. That's the point I'm trying to say. Like Twitter and Reddit aren't region specific. So how would you know? Right, mate, you, you, you dropped the ball again. <laughs> and then you probably slipped over on it in the process. Like, what are you doing? It's so confusing. I get why it's called Riot Games now, because it's just fucking chaos in there, isn't it? Might have been those random surveys. True. Was there any talk about all chat in in your last survey? That I don't even recall it, personally. Anyway. Champion changes. Thanks for the follow. I assume it says Eva? Yeah, it says Eva. Thanks for the follow, Mutt. You never do them? Well, that doesn't help, does it? I don't recall the last time I got a server. Yeah, me neither, honestly. Anyway, Akshan. E damage decreased. Akshan's been steadily creeping up since swinging into release. We're tapping down on the signature moves damage to make the choice between max and cure E or strategic. About 20 damage less later on. Matt, this base damage for 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 the shot, like, th this is actually the dumbest ability. Dead ass, right? This actual... Oh. I actually just hate that this ability is in the game. But not for the reasons you're thinking, chat. Make it do no damage, change my mind. <laughs> yes, it's per shot. So, like, maxim maxing this never, like, never has a downside because it's literally per shot. If you're near the target and you keep actually shooting per shot, it's crazy. Yes, it did 110 per shot. This is the best part, right? And this is the one thing that pisses me off to no end. If you are playing a character with a displacement, right? If you're playing a character with a displacement like Mordekaiser, like, like the drag, and you, like, drag Akshan while he's in the swing... He actually keeps shooting. Despite that. Now, if that hasn't been bug fixed out of here, then this change doesn't change anything either. Lily asleep stops him. Yeah, it's a pity that takes a while. But yeah, this honestly doesn't change a whole lot because the actual, like, you can get, like, anywhere between 5 and 10 shots. Next time I go into War Top Lane, I'm picking Action Man. It's probably a good idea. I'm a graphic designer. I just want to ask if there's a chance of you to customize. Are you aware that we've had this conversation before and I told you I'd get back to you? That's a new account. I'm actually 90% sure these are actually fake. Unless I've literally, like, spoken to the same person six times. I swear, like, I keep getting the same messages from, like, these fake graphic designers and they try to send me, like, a portfolio and it's just a virus. It's so fucking hard to deal with, man. You've already DM'd me. Like, I'm pretty sure this is the same person that tried to message me a little while ago. Assuming it's the same name. Though I don't even think they're actually listening to me talk now. So it's actually just made kind of funny in the fact that like I'm saying something and they're just like, I can DM you my details. I can do all this thing for you. Like, I, do you, like are you aware that we're talking right now? We are sharing dialogue. Like you have actually distracted me from what I'm supposed to be doing. Just, just for the fact that you are probably completely unaware that this is going on. Oh. Oh, it's even better, the chat. It's even better. You want to know how I know it's a bot? I just went back to find that person. 
They have a slightly different name, and their Discord user is now deleted. Yeah, you can fuck off. <laughs> it's definitely a bot. <laughs> they're, this, they're all the fucking same, dude. They're all just the same bunch of morons just trying to do the same shit. Fuck me. Anyway, back to the back to the actual thing we're supposed to be doing here. Graves. E bonus armor decrease. Graves defensive dueling power makes him a little too consistent in some early matchups. We're reducing his burliness to give his opponents a chance to outplay the outlaw. Bonus armor per stack. I still can't believe it goes up to sixteen armor per stack, dude. That's such an insane late game late late game thing. Just being able to buff that off of every quick draw and having enough CDR to actually make it through. That's actually just fucking nuts. Actually nuts. Oh. See, I had this thought, right, during Worlds, where, like, I actually thought to myself that I didn't think Graves was really going to, like, cut the mustard in regards to being a frontliner. But... Uh, every time I look at this, I keep wondering, like, this, do they just keep making Graves into some sort of, like, pseudo, like, bruiser tank that just doesn't fucking die when he's got enough quick draw stacks on him? Because I really get the sense that this character just, like, it, it just has ten different identities sometimes. Like, when Graves was released, it was... You know, one of the greatest wave clearing ADCs that ever existed. It was incredibly, it was incredibly over consistent. Then they renamed him into, then they remade him into Shotgun Graves, and Shotgun Graves was incredibly good for all the wrong reasons. And then, yeah, there were just so many weird things about it. You know, Civil Sad Face. Yeah, look, you'll, you'll get over it. Oh. I almost banned you just off the text alone, Vin, and then I realized it was you, and I just thought, fuck, I should ban him anyway. I want old Graves back, I should, I love playing him. I look, I like the original version of Graves, don't get me wrong, the King AD himself, but that's because I like the idea of Buckshot actually just being like a proper fan-out thing, rather than it being part of his autos, but yeah, then it got weird, then it just got weird. Every single time, it just got weird. Every change to Graves just got weirder and weirder. I want old Rakan and Aesol back, we don't get what we want, do we? I mean, I guess not in the Aesol front. No one wants Aesol to exist according to Riot. Anyway. Jinx. Passive attack speed increased, E range increased, R cooldown to... Wait, really? Okay. Jinx is craving some excitement, so we're boosting her passive to make her pop-off moments really pop and letting her wreak more havoc across the map with her ulti. Flame Chomp is also getting a slight increase to work better with Fishbane's basic attacks, everybody panic. So total attack speed goes up to 25%. That's fucking nuts, bro. Then Flame Chomper's extra 25 range, which syncs up with the rocket launcher. That's not so bad. Not so bad at all. And then Super Mega Death Rocket goes down by 15 to 5 seconds. Not the worst thing in the world. Jinx Buzz goes to the Netflix show. Yeah, you reckon? You fucking reckon? I'm sure there are Vi changes in here too. Oh, there's a Vi skin? <laughs> there's always something, isn't there? Jinx buffs and a Vi skin. No fucking surprise there. You're hyped for the league anime? Me too. Me too, honestly. All right, Carthus. Oh, was I right? I was right. Oh, it's the mana restore change. Oh, even better. So the e mana restore reduced early and scales more. With, I forgot about the mana restore for a brief moment. I thought, yeah, they they should change down like a few of the things to do with either the either is lane sustain or anything else. Yeah, the mana restore is a good thing to hit. It's most of his infinite wave control in early game thanks to his E-passive. Pretty spooky. We're trimming down his mana early to target his performance in lane without affecting his jungle. So, minus 5, minus 2. What? This isn't even a huge change. Uh, uh, uh. 
this isn't even a huge change, right? Oh, crap. Okay, well, that didn't go to plan. That didn't go to plan at all. I was expecting it to be way worse than this. I... 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 <laughs> They probably would have buffed five. They could have gotten away with it. Nah. Can't get away with anything these days. It's Rito Games. I I don't think this is enough. Maybe like in the in the longer longer haul of it, perhaps. But uh, excited for anime weave. It's not even that. that. It might be one of the only animes in my life I ever enjoy watching. Yeah, it's a solid emote. It's a pity it's uh, targeted at mods. Big fucking meme, that is. But you can't call that a, an anime, so to speak. I think Seth's just trying to recruit me. That's the problem. You need better Twitch TV, Vin. Save yourself a lot of trouble. <laughs> Get yourself a copium emote. <laughs> Lux. Base attack speed per le base attack speed per level increased. I mean, it helps with the with the auto attacking of things, I suppose. <laughs> Passive mark duration adjusted. E damage increased. R cooldown decreased. R cooldown decreased. How much fucking lower can it go, bro? Anyway, despite increasing her E damage in 11.10, Lux still isn't shining so bright near the middle support. We take this opportunity to buff her a bit while also making her passive more reliable. So the attack speed per level is 2%. Uh, yeah, you've really, you've really got to get the, the add-on, Vin. Save yourself a lot of trouble. Alright. But yeah, the attack speed per level thing is not really relevant unless you are, like I said, unless you're really just trying to, like, combo... Either combo marks, which again, not a huge thing, or uh, you're trying to like actually see us at later a bit better, but I don't even know if this actually would make any effect between levels one and nine. Maybe it will. Maybe it will. Does it even work with opera? I think it works with everything. Anyway. Illumination. Illumination mark duration extended if Lux's basic attack is already in flight to the t What? What? Okay, it's like it's like we're not even playing the game anymore. Like, are you kidding me? Look, look, look! I'm all for making things like you know, like quality of life changes, etc. But this isn't a quality of life change. What the fuck? <sighs> like, what's the point? In even trying to play the game anymore. Really? We're just going to reward people. That are. Uh, that don't get the combo correct. Based off of that. Really. I don't. I, I just don't get it. Oh, they're only lowering it early. Wow, they lowered it by 20 seconds. What the fuck, bro? That's crazy. This is the buffs you needed to win the diamond, bro. This isn't even playing the game, dude. Like, if you're a high-level Lux player, you shouldn't even need this. This is basically... This might as well be a fucking... You, you might as well just say, right? Every single ability, even if you miss it, will proc this mark. What's the point? You know what? Fuck the mark. Take out the mark and put and just put all the damage into every other ability Lux has. There. Make the character that brain dead. Tell me about it, Rack. You are audio book mode right now. Oh, you want me you want to hear the change? I'll, I'll say it again. Since I'm in audiobook mode for Mr. Centaurum. So, Illumination Mark Duration is extended. If Lux's basic attack is already in flight to the target, or if our final spark is being cast. It's 
even reading it out loud again gives me a, gives me a headache. Like we're actually at a point where you just freely, ah, oh, ah, oh, it it just it just like what's the point in trying to play your character properly when Riot is actually somehow willing to just give you freedoms for nothing? Rec next season, you're going to see some Lux Vods from me. Bruh. It's, instead of co-op versus AI, it's like AI versus AI. This is such a massive buffer last thing. I mean, true. It's good, probably good just for like some of these things, but it's just such a... Oh, like... Uh, maybe I'm not explaining this very well, but like, you'll understand what my gripe is, right? Like, you'll actually understand why I'm so, so angry about this change. Like, this is like the slippery slope territory. It literally rewards the fact that you just are... It's, it rewards either one of two stupid things, right? It rewards either the fact that, A, you can somehow get off two sets of, like, cooldowns in the same thing, even though you can't actually put the whole thing together, so it's pointless, because it will just proc one mark after the other. It, it only would really apply to Lux's ultimate, and even then, if you're waiting that long, there was no point in trying to do the combo in the first place. And then, the only other thing it serves to do, which is the only real reason I can see this ever happening, is literally to just help bad players, like, not, not fuck up this combo, which makes even less sense. I need a drink. Right, you're really not doing me any favors today, mate. You're really not. I mean, you can say that out loud. It's just I have to try and not read it out loud like I did yesterday with that stupid fucking ruler joke. <clears throat> Honestly, though, like, I, I don't I don't want to hate on, like, on Riot designers, right? But this, this kind of change is such a... Oh. Since I'm a mod, I don't want to say it. You can... That's fine, man. Saying, like, Riot devs don't play the game is, like, it's such a... It's a shot in the dark, but it's, like, one of those really, like, broad-spectrum, like, rage comments. I don't even think that even matters. If anything, I think I was even more, like, worried when I thought that, like... Like, when I said that Brightman was a snake oil salesman. Because, truthfully, like, if this was something that he signed off on... That's poking fun at his rank. It's fine. Poke fun at his rank. I don't think a single, like, high, I don't think a single lead designer has been above Platt since they've actually been a part of this. Like, since they've been a part of Riot. I don't think any of the design leads have ever been that high. So don't get me wrong, like, if you're worried about the skill level that goes into this, I, I don't think that ever makes, like, the difference to it. But, again, second to that, the, the overarching problem is that, like, it's not about whether or not they're good at the game. It's just about whether or not they think that these changes are anything other than just promoting for bads. Like, maybe you coach me to go to that school for game designer that Christian Rose just worked for, right? Yes, I'm going to plant some agents in Riot HQ and get the game done right. There's something going on with my name colors for some reason. Oh, you're purple now. Also, hello, Ole. How you doing? But, yeah. It's more of a change than some numbers, so Brightman might have been involved. Like, this is, like, yeah, this isn't just your regular buff nerf thing. Like, this is literally a change that says, like, we want things to be easier. But this is the worst kind of, like, making things easier, right? Like, this isn't the kind of easier in the sense that, like, um, like, the AI targeting for a dead minion make, like, eating, a, eating an attack. Like, that, honestly, that should, that should have been fixed ages ago. Like, if I go to cast my Olaf E on a, tar on a dead target, like a dying minion, for instance, and it dies while my ability goes off, I shouldn't lose the cooldown. That's a quality of life change you should make. This, this is dumb. This does nothing for, like, actual, like, proper player, like, thing. My issue comes from a server tick rate problem, despite the fact that I live, like, not in the same state as the server. This right here, this is just bad play. You can't just reward bad play. To be fair, they have to please the mass, and that's where they make the money. So balancing the game from silver elo is very different from the balance of high elo. Look, I don't, I don't want to be an asshole, right? 
But I want to believe that almost every person that plays this game in ranked is actually trying to get their rank up. Despite anyone saying like, oh no, I'm a casual player, I just play ranked because like, you know it's there. If you're playing a ranked mode, you're trying to go up in rank. That's pretty much all there is to it. If you're a normal star and you don't care about this, fucking no worries. That's great. But if you're playing ranked and your only thing to do is to play rank, then you're trying to get rank and you're trying to be better at the game, which means you care about what, the, what people are playing in high elo. You can't tell me otherwise. You can't tell me with a straight face. I won't fucking believe you. Biggest fucking lie ever. But yeah, if you're a dead-ass casual and all you do is play normals, like I do at the moment, like, fucking, that's it. It's just that I happen to still have a professional interest in this game because I coach it. So I'm obviously still going to be interested in that. But if you're just purely a normal stars player with no esports affiliations and no, sh no fucks to give, then you wouldn't even care about the bust or nurse to half of these characters. But if I, as a coach, am trying to make the belief that we have a change coming into the game that wholeheartedly only affects bad players and doesn't actually reward them for doing anything good. If anything, it actually does nothing but bolster their bad habits. Then I'm pissed. Then I'm naturally pissed because it takes the onus away from everyone. It takes so much away from everything. It doesn't help with anything in particular. It just only serves to bolster your crappy habits. And that doesn't make me feel good. Someone said yesterday it's hard to learn League now that there's because there's so much, but I've also heard what you say now that I'm making champions new friendly. Am I correct in understanding this? Yes and no. It's like... It, it, it's hard to absorb League as a game if you're like completely like disconnected from esports. Like if, this, if League is your first ever video game that you're picking up, then fucking A, it's going to be a pain in the ass to, to fix. Like to, to get like, you know, to get amongst, right? That's an understanding point, right? But... The the whole thing about it <clears throat> the whole thing about it is just like you know we've got this whole like problem where there's so many things you have to really stack up in your head and like yeah the cognitive load as the, as the, 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 you know, the clinical way to put it, the cognitive load of like everything you got to think about in the game is actually quite crazy. So that's, uh, something to really, to work with. We haven't even gotten to the preseason changes yet. And I'm already mad. Yeah. Look, you might be onto something. I'm scared every time you look like that. Like, I'm like, what the fuck is going on? It's because I'm answering DMs. Sorry. Plus, the, there's a arsehole with a fucking whippersnipper outside. And it's really fucking annoying. <laughs> uh, just do you wait. The preseason changes are crazy. Yeah, I get you. I get you. I get you. I get you. Oh, fuck this, dude. Do I just, do I just shut the window? Oh, fuck, I'm doing it. I can't deal with this. I can't deal with people. Not today. Oh, God. Fucking I hate people. I hate whippersnippers and I hate people. If there was ever such a worry about things being better done, uh, people are the worst, I agree. Fucking know it. Sarah says now a rod of ages. The fuck did you say? I was like, oh no, is this ever blowing up? No, nah, not yet. I was just answering a DM from Vega. Alright. But yeah, I don't agree with this at all. Misfortune. Oh boy. Uh, base mana reduced, W mana cost increased. There you fucking go. <laughs> <laughs> Misfortune has been popular at every level of play, including at Worlds. We want to preserve the flexibility between her lethality and crit builds while we're nerfing her in a way that forces her to pick her early shots more wisely. We hit the mana. Makes perfect sense. I honestly just wreck as a boomer regarding for adding BTTV emails. Yeah, look. Yeah, I don't have that one yet. What even? Wait, I didn't even realize there was a, a boober emote. What even is... I don't even want to know. I'm not even sure I want to know. 
I'm not even sure I want to know. <laughs> anyway. You like it? The Pepe with its eyes huge? Oh! That's interesting. Wouldn't have expected that. Like, why did I have to watch that cringe coke ad before your stream? I don't know. Probably because you're not fucking subscribed! That might fix it. Oh, it's a GIF emote. Yeah, I'm really bad at adding GIF emotes. Sorry about that. I haven't figured out, like, how many I should have or what to, like, to have. Any Oilers in the chat? If they're Oilers, they better be fucking paying me the money directly instead of wasting on fucking subscribers. Blech. This doesn't seem like a big note that MF is. Okay, so here's the thing you need to know, right? The mana change is necessary because it obviously does cut down like a, on a little bit of your early game mana usage. But the main thing is that the mana cost for strut going uh, going up, this actually is necessary to stop the, the, for the, at least for the pro edge of it, where you're actually just freely roaming between it. It's crazy. Think I'm always no, but you watching an ad for 20 seconds is probably worth less overall than me losing half the cut of a sub just because of that. I would rather the money go to me directly, and that you buy ad block or buy buy. I mean, download for free to use because it's useful. Tossing those hips out in a strut takes understandable effort. Understandable now. Okay, well we have it. Makes sense. Is that toss there? Possibly. But I don't get money from ad revenue. So I'd say that's Twitch's fault. Mainly because I don't run ads by default as it is. But I don't get but no one gets money from pre roll ads. How could you deprive him of 25 toilets in his new house? To be fair, if I was a millionaire, I probably would go with 20 toilets in my house, just purely for obvious reasons. But you do get ad revenue, it's just tiny. I actually do not get enough to like warrant paying off anything because, like I said, I don't run ads myself. For obvious reasons. I mean, everyone knows, everyone knows what the problem is there. Can't say anything less to me. I mean, if Vega has to cut out that entire line, then so be it. But I don't think it's going to cost me anything. What are they going to do? Take away ad revenue from my stream? <gasps> so painful. But yeah, the W change, truthfully, is just purely like to stop people from like freely roaming or running back to land at high speed and getting the, like, the extraneous benefits like, out of everything to do with misfortune. Because this is the funniest thing, right? I... <laughs> misfortune as a character, pretty solid, generally, right? That's the thing. But activating your W, the free movement, like getting the movement speed for free and the full bonus attack speed steroid is actually huge. And this is the thing that actually makes her really good. It's like one of those things that people don't even realize exists. Like you actually just get this just for free. You just press the button and all your pain goes away. I found a BTW, I thought it was funny. I mean, yes, but it's still kind of bad without context so i'd rather just remove it so yeah you do that vega and i'll just go on with what i was doing free i see 45 mana 45 mana really isn't that much in the grand scheme of things considering you barely spend mana on mf as it is unless you're spamming e but yeah the guy that decided to play mf instead of draven and he started winning it's true to be ahead of three viewers on average that is less than like a cent. it wouldn't even be a cent it's like literally the equivalent of like a bitcoin sale but like scaled down by like 5 million percent back in the day one cent would buy you the whole milk bar yeah good thing that day is fucking dead in the water along with the great depression that came with it anyway quinn bonus attack speed decrease like people actually play quinn at the moment because we're flying high above a competition in top oh wait it's top lane never mind <laughs> i f i forgot top lane sucks generally so basically we just pick quinn into everything <laughs> We're dropping her to a lower elevation so that her enemies can stand a chance against her indoors. How got a good idea? How about we just remove Quinn from the game? The character literally does not serve to do anything useful other than present a bird character. That's pretty much it. Everything else about the character sucks. Anyway. But yeah, the bonus is actually coming off of that. Still the same early game. Ergo, it's still the same thing that we come to expect. Because no one really does anything outside of Q&A levels in early on. So it doesn't matter. 
doesn't matter at all. This change doesn't really affect much. This affects her scaling, which again, not the problem. The problem is her in top lane. This doesn't change anything. Ugh. Scion. W shield increased. Our most recent buffs to Scion shield in 11.9.7 were clearly not strong enough for the Juggernaut, so here he is again. Buffed again. What do they buff? Oh, the health ratio. Ooh, they buffed the health ratio. No base, just the health ratio. Sick. All right. I'm down for that. I'll take that as it is. I will take that as it is. That is a 2% buff. I'm totally okay with that. Timo, Q cooldown decrease, blind duration increase, missile speed in missile speed increased? Ush. Ush. Captain Timo has fallen behind in the top lane ranks. Like, as long as Timo and Quinn exist, top lane's still gonna suck, bro. We're putting a little more basic anti-basic attack poison in the friendly orders dart to make him more annoying slash powerful in lane. So the base cooldown of this is now seven seconds. The blind duration is now uh, 0.5 seconds long. Wait, it's still 0.5 seconds longer early. Ugh. Missile speed 2500. That's a fucking chunky buff. The missile speed change is huge. So, okay. Now, I remember seeing this on Twitter, like, a, about, a, like, maybe a couple of days ago. Someone told me that with enough ability haste, you can actually get to a point where the dark cooldown is actually three seconds. So that means that you can permanently blind somebody. And there it is. 133 ability haste to have 2.88 seconds on a three second blind. <laughs> <laughs> Good thing you can, like, you can't really get to that buff without actually being, like, in the shit. So that's okay. That's how it feels in Earth. That's all right. That's so upsetting. Look, like I said, it'll take a while to get to that point. It's very hard to get to that point and have an optimal build. So it's not the worst thing in the universe, but the fact that it's possible is a bit sad. <laughs> oh, well, it's all right. We'll, we'll, we'll get over it. We'll get over it in the end, folks. I like the infinite Gregor's body so with enough air ability. Hey, it's nice. Very nice. Very tight. Alright. Did I really get nerfed in the patch notes? Or did she somehow dodge it? Uh, yeah, we've definitely passed I, so I really is still here. Sorry, bud. I really is still there. Still terrorizing the place. Still tearing shit up. They replaced the I really nerf with the Quinn. Yeah, it's a bit strange that they nerfed Quinn, of all people. But yeah, this change is like, it's not the worst thing in the universe, but it obviously makes Teemo a stronger character. But yeah, the increased blind duration actually applying to the first rank of Dart, that hurts a little. That actually does hurt a little. So, yeah. 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 But again, not the worst thing in the universe, but that's still pretty painful. All right. Viego. Q damage ratio increase, W self slow D. I'm sorry, are they buffing Viego? They're buffing Viego? The last set of Viego nerfs did the job of preventing him from dominating at world. Uh, but it hit him a little too hard at all levels of play. We're buffing him slightly with an emphasis on his crit builds rather than bringing back some of his tanking. Did I miss something? Did I. What? Who did. Did, didn't he do well at Worlds? I mean, I'm glad they, they leaned in towards the ratio thing so that he, you play the, the, the other build rather than the tank build. He did well, but he wasn't picked bad. He was picked and banned. What do you mean? There were, there were picks and bans targeted at Viego. Hang on. Where's my stats? Where's me stats? Where's me fucking stats, eh? Hang on. Worlds. Champion stats. It didn't take me many scrolls to get down there. Okay. So, for those wondering about Viego, right? Viego was picked 16 times. Banned 6 times. Presence rate 41%. That's still quite high. Wins 9, losses 7 win rate 56%. Again, not like hugely pick ban, but still out of presence. That's still a presence. He was not high priority. He was priority enough. To be fair, he's definitely not at the level of like Lee Sin, Twist of Fate, Yumi, LeBlanc, Lucian, and Irelia, but still, still bad enough. Bad enough that he's actually in this list without having to scroll down too far. 
just for comparative reasons. 2021 champion isn't pick banned immediately. We need to buff. <laughs> I mean, maybe. But yeah, I, I don't mind if they buff the squishy build. That's totally okay. If they buff the squishy build, it's fine. Which means you can lock him down, no issues at all. But when you have, like, Divine Sunderer as a thing, and it works off of his ulti, that's problematic. Is I rarely still 90% plus presence? I believe it was 89. Last I checked. Hang on, I'll go back and just double check. I think it was 89. Hang on, champion stats... Aurelia, presence 81, sorry, 81% presence. Actually, wait, these don't appear to be right. It has 38 bands, but only six picks. Has Aurelia really only made it into, into pick bands, into like picks six times? Sheesh. So a bit of a guy playing the Crippy Egg on PvE and the ulti damage was nutty. It was like 1k plus 44% missing. <laughs> Very painful. Yeah, it happened a lot in planes, but not groups. True. Let's go back to Viego being a squishy melee assassin like he was meant to be. I mean, he is. And he will just do a butt ton of damage. And that's understandable. But yeah, I'm just not... Re I'm, I'm just hoping that the, the Sunderer build goes off and dies somewhere. Because I'm not, I'm not interested in it anymore. Zaya. Base move speed increase, Q cooldown decrease late. I carefully buff Zaya quite a few times this season to help her non-pro performance, but she's still pretty weak across the board. Might be because every other character is just absolutely nutty with the new items, but you know, reasons. Damage is already pretty sharp, so we're buffing her ability to set her feathers up. So movement speed up by 5, and double deck is cooled down to... Ooh, scales down to 4. That's nice. I had a guy tell me Sandra was more OP than Gore. On Viego? On Viego, yeah. Definitely. The difference is that Sandra, oh, in general, Sandra is just countered by armor. Like, the actual damage from Sandra is, is countered by armor, so it's not the worst thing in the world to be, like, to deal with. Gore Drinker, in general, however, just has too much defensive capability. Sandra, not so much. You have to be able to attack them for that. But guys, they're going to pick up Viego and the buff maybe wants to have more thoughts. Do it, bro. Do whatever you want. Do whatever floats your boat. Oh boy. Here we go. Gore drinker. Gore drinker. Gore drinker. Alright. <laughs> At its core. Gore drinker is supposed to be a sustained mythic that lets fighters outlast their enemies with well-timed thirsting slashes. While wanting to sustain through a fight isn't unique to fighters, it's a big part of their class identity. They have the best tools to stay on the offensive at low health, Example, the Dream Alawi of that lets her turn to 1v5. Yeah, like, that's ever going to fucking happen, Rito Games. Please, come on. But yes, it's a fucking dream indeed. It's definitely a dream. Anyway, <clears throat> at the same time, this is a risky niche to fill. Two of our bigger rough patches since the item update have been damage and healing, and Gore Drinker offers both. We've seen this risk play out over the course of the season, with Gore Drinker becoming the dominant mythic pick for fighters due to offering the best sustain without making sufficient trade-offs on the damage front. As further evidence, assassins have been taking Gore Drinker over their own mythics. Assassins are designed to kill quickly, so they shouldn't be valuing an item that indexes so much sustain its strength at low health. Between its 1.0 AD ratio and its heal, Gore Drinker's active is just too valuable as another button in assassin combos that also lets them shrug off any damage they take while eviscerating their target. In order to move Gore Drinker back to its sustained niche, we're removing its low health bonus AD to nerf damage for fighters and weakening Thirsting Slash's AD scaling to nerf damage to assassins. At the same time, we don't want Gore Drinker to become a bad pick for fighters, so we're giving it Omnivamp to make sure it still lives up to its identity as their sustained mythic. Fuck. What a mouthful. <sighs> so they took out the health regen, which is kind of the core part for like a lot of fighters because they like the regen. And then it doesn't grant the spite passive anymore where you get the the you get bonus AD based on your missing health. But you now get 8% Omnivamp. So, I hate to do this to you, chat. But I'm about to open the door. Oh yeah, and 175% base AD. Which again, with some of the highest base ADs that exist in this game being on fighters, it totally makes sense. But it makes it a bit scary to think about. Now, I want to just make this clear, right? Right, had to release an SM. What amounts do we fucked up? It's not even past that. It's literally just believing that this was going to be okay for so long. And then doubling down on it. 
when they when they rebuffed it after like letting uh Strybreaker die in a hole, they said, No, no, but this this is okay. We could totally like handle this and then they just completely ruined it. Like completely threw it out the fucking door and said, Yep, this is what we're rolling with. The end. And that's where it ended. That's where it ended, right? That on its own is terrible. Right? That that thought process alone is the main reason that we're in this position, right? Now I just want to make something abundantly clear because they've now changed it to give Omni vamp. A few, a few like edge cases are now going to become very, very obvious to the, to this game. And I need you to be aware of it. Okay. Chat gore drinker plus, <clears throat> plus ravenous Hydra is now a thing, a worse thing. So that's one problem. The second thing is that because the passive, like all the passive related AD damage, etc., is applied through the item itself. Characters that have on hint effects now will have even more Omnivamp by default. That's a problem. Uh, the and now the the other funny niche which I which I have double checked to see if this will actually become a thing and it probably and it probably might be just for the shits and gigs factor. Katarina. Katarina now has an AD item that offers Omnivamp. This might also affect Akali now that I think about it, since Akali was using the Gordrika build this patch. But this might even be funnier just for that alone. But assassins that have on hit effects and AD ratios are automatically going to be in the clear. This is a buff. D don't get it twisted, chat. This is 100% a buff. It makes the people that were interested in this item before even better. But it also adds like a few interesting, like... It also adds a few interesting slash disgustingly funny ideas right so i'm ready to see this play out it's going to be disgusting i'm totally okay with like omnivap as a base like function but unfortunately like this is the other thing right i don't know if there's i can't remember off the top of my head if there's any other items that actually have this but the fact that ravenous hydra you can't just do that speak evil into the world like that <laughs> hang on i'm just going to quickly peruse the the league wiki and just double check hang on um, I just want to make sure I don't, I don't recall off the top of my head, right? But I think the only Omni vamp items, two of them are mythic and one of them is a legendary and that legendary is ravenous Hydra. I can't recall if there is an AP Omni vamp item. Is there chat? No, that's not a mythic. Sorry, I meant to preface. Not a mythic. There isn't. No. So, we're basically going to have bruises that might actually lean into this really stupid idea. Oh, God, I'm cringing just saying this out loud. <laughs> they, because Cat would buy it. Cat is going to buy it. That's the point. There's actually a universe where Cat Arena is going to buy... Gore Drinker and Ravenous Hydra and Death Stands. <laughs> if this actually works the way I think it does, this is going to be awful. <laughs> it's so bad. Greg, you forgot the best part. I'm. I kind of want to forget it. Yes, I know. Bork is a very valid first item on Cat. Like all of these together. If you can literally build all these items together, you will be a drain tank for the ages. But I think the funniest part is that you actually might be able to just scrap Blade of the Ruin King generally and just go for those. You are going to look at my DM to you later and not remember why I said it to you. I'm looking at it right now just for this. <laughs> I'm just going to let it play out in the background. I don't like where this is going. Stop! Stop! No. Stop! There you go. Just, just for send, I'll let it play out in the background. If I happen to get copyright struck for it, then fucking so be it. So yeah, I, <laughs> I, I really don't want to believe this is going to happen, but I actually get the sense, right? I get this feeling. I get this feeling that Gore Drinker and Ravenous Hydra together is going to create some really stupid combos. Really stupid combos. Chat. Really, really 
stupid combos. Just keep in mind, like Gore Drinker giving ability haste, Ravenous Hunter giving ability, Ravenous Hydra giving ability haste. You can nerf, you can honestly, you can nerf the rune all you want, which apparently is in this thing. Apparently they're nerfing this, but they're also going to do something else, which apparently is coming up. And I'm going to get to that in a sec. Anyway, Iron Spike Whip is now 100% base AD. Lovely. Great. All right. Stripe. Oh, they're changing Stripe Breaker. We're also adjusting Stripe Breaker's active to match the damage changes to Gordrick or an Iron Spike Whip, but it's also getting an AD boost to compensate since it doesn't need a nerf right now. So, plus five. Great. Cool. If only John didn't have garbage opinions. Uh, yeah, probably. <clears throat> to be fair, though, I, and I hate to say this, but I feel like this kind of like reflects on everybody, but I feel like almost like, about 90% of content creators have garbage opinions. i got to be honest with you. Like... I'm pretty sure, like, the majority of content creators that actually, like, were given a platform were just shitty people beforehand, are shitty people now, but 90% sure you don't even know about half the stuff. Like, I'm a pretty open book as it is, and I, I like, I've admitted and repented for all my mistakes in life, but I can tell you right now, there are definitely a lot of content creators that have garbage opinions. Don't even, don't think it's just limited to one guy. Believe it, chat. Believe it. What's this? All right, rune changes. Conqueror. We're seeing a broad change of champions. Pick Conqueror, even in situations that don't match its purpose. Extended all ins. We're honing in on that identity and giving a nerf. Adaptive per stack is two, is two to four instead of two to five. And then the buff duration is down by two seconds. Fuck. Rep start. I'm a content creator. Do you mind? I'm supposed to be here. I make roast content. I have shit to Are you pretending to be me, Sarah? Because unfortunately, neither of those are true. I don't even remember that one. Like, I, I've heard of this guy, this John Tron person, but I don't even know, like, what, like, who he is, what he does, so on and so forth. Your VODs? Oh, I get what you're saying now. You make content for me. Right, you were talking about yourself. I get it now. Right. Game Grumps. Oh, there's a name I haven't heard in many years. Anyway. Guardian. Wait, actually, about this. This is all about, like, yeah, okay. So, let's say we've got this right, and we're worried about extended all-ins. I totally get that, like, the stacks falling off thing is something that really should have been, like, addressed a while back, since people were waiting out, like, their combo, like, thing was staying in combat and then getting in for it. So, that part I'm cool with. That I'm totally cool with. Four seconds does seem a bit short, though. Hmm. The stacks itself, I couldn't really care for. Like, the actual damage on stack thing. Don't care too much for that, because that will barely, like, scale as it is. But, the buff duration does make me wonder, like, will some fighters even be able to maintain the stacks whilst being kited? That'll suck. That'll suck a lot. Yeah, that'll really suck. Alright. <clears throat> Guardian. Guardian's been overperforming in the support role and crowding out other keystones, so we're tuning it down. So from 70 to 150 to 50 to 1... Ooh, that's pretty good. Based on level plus 50% of Guardian's AP and 9% of Guardian's bonus health, those ratios are the same. So the ratios are the same. One more Q will... Oi! Don't remind me. Yeah, literally one more Q. <laughs> Got to practice throwing out that meaty skill shot to save you the the trouble at the end there. That's what you got to that's what you got to be prepared for. Is just throwing out that meaty skill shot to keep your buff alive while you're stuck in Morgul team and be like, "Yeah, I can make it there in time." Said nobody ever. Cuz you probably get stun locked to death afterwards. So, you better get used to that. Guardian change is warranted, especially for lane. Like, blocking 70 damage in the early game was pretty freaking nasty. But, yeah. 
plus the Guardian's bonus help on top of it. This is a warranted change, honestly. I think 70 base is huge, truthfully. I don't even think... Does Aerie actually give anything close to that, now that I think about it? Hang on, quick rune check. Quick rune check. What does Aerie give comparatively? Where's Aerie? Aerie gives... Healing, shielding, or buffing an LA champion gives 35 to 80 based on level plus 40% AD or 25% or oh, sorry, and 25 AP. I don't think in any universe that actually outscales Guardian. Fuck! It's just that it has um, it has, what do you call? It has um, offensive capabilities. That's the only difference between Aerie and Guardian. But if you, yeah, like, even for pure defensive purposes, like, Guardian's still better. It's just a matter of, like, I, I would have, you'd have to math it out a tiny bit, but I don't think it'll ever make it to a scaling point where you, as a support, would be able to buy enough AP to actually warrant Aerie being better as a support choice. But that is why all insurance were going Guardian all the time. I mean, to be fair, like, Guardian was just always the better choice in almost every ch in every case because you, your aim was to be defensive, always. Even whilst being offensive, your aim was to be defensively offensive. Yes, we'll go with that. But that was the that was the thing that was needed, right? But yeah, health shard. The health shard is a niche stat that doesn't get a lot of love right now. It's generally useful when you don't expect much of a threat in lane, since armor or magic resist shards are, would be more useful against specific matchups. It's not going to pick much even in these cases, so we're upping its numbers to make it more desirable. Fifteen to one forty. One forty. One forty. Hang on a second. Quick calculator. So 140 minus 15. All right, so 125 divided by 18. Seven health. So 763. I don't think. Hang on, it was by 11, right? Hang on. So, we'll, we'll round it up to 7, just for the sake of it. So, 11 health. So, 77 health. As opposed to... What was it? 90. Hang on. Minus 15. Divide. We had... 77. This will outscale at 6 now. Or 7. This, so, the original... The original, like, Hell Shard didn't actually take a better effect until you were past level 11. Now we're actually at a point where this might actually be better past level 6. I think. If I'm trying to remember Wicked's math correctly. That he gave me. I'm 90% sure, 90, I'm not like perfectly like on the mark here, but I'm pretty sure this actually will start to outscale post six. You'd still be better off with the resistance charge as a tank because of all the... Actually, that's not entirely true. Because the resistance, the percent resistance buffs will also be heavily countered technically by uh, things like LDR and void stuff. So the the the, resi the extra resistances generally you want to just buy in, you want to get them in chunks from particular items and only worry about like this because these shards right these only exist for like the first 11 levels of the game and then by then you basically make up the difference via items. But the health shard was actually interesting for that because the, if you once you like bridged 100 health you were actually in the territory for surviving burst. And that was the really like big, big problem there. But now that we're actually at a point 
that it actually does scale past 100, this is actually almost worth taking. But I don't know if overall, like, the, the cost is any better. I'd have to talk to Wicked about this. Someone wants to get a hold of Wicked for me and remind me. I'll, I'll probably sort that out later on. But I'm 99% sure that this will now outscale an armor or AMR shard past level 6 or 7. So it's actually almost worth taking generally now. So keep that in mind. Just just a food for thought chat. Alright, Ingenious Hunter. At the beginning of the season, we updated Ingenious Hunter to not only work on item effects, item actives and trinkets, but also on item passives like Guardian Angel and Starax Gauge. It was slightly nerfed to compensate and has been weak ever since, and we're giving it a buff to compete with the other Hunter options. So the base item haste is 20 now. That's huge. And then item haste per stack is now 6 per. And the max item haste at full stacks is now 50. Eighty item haste, and then add cosmic insight into the mix for another. Is it ten or eighteen? I've got the numbers the wrong way around. Hang on, that's cosmic insight. Ten item haste, another ten item haste. So you get ninety item haste. Ninety. This and I think the Ravnos below it, Everfrost champs should probably swap. As in swap to Everfrost? Oh, wait, no, I no, I get what you mean. Yeah, um, yeah. Yeah. So Ravnos Hunter is one of the most popular minor runes in the game. It's crowding out other choices, especially in bot lane, so we're, we're nerfing it a bit. Down to 1.2 Omnivamp per stack, so the maximum you get is 6% instead of 7.5. Um... Unless you are a single target character, I don't think Ravenous Hunter is going to be worth it anymore. I don't. I don't think it's worth it. Shame you don't play any. What do you mean? Panther plays Everfrost Evelyn. <laughs> I'm okay. I'm totally okay. But yeah, um, unless you have single target pure damage, right? I just see how many clips of that I see. It's still dumb. Yeah, no, it's it's not great, but uh, it doesn't make it any less funny. Um, I feel like you'd have to nerf it more to get people to stop taking the major. That's the thing. I, like a ravenous hunter as a thing, right? It is always going to be good for people that have single target threats, uh, damage, right? That's always going to be the thing. But as, like, they keep nerfing this down, AoE-related, like, Ravenous Hunter stuff, right, gets worse and worse by quite a lot. And that's where it gets interesting. So we're actually at a point now where a lot of characters will, like, will think about steering away from it. The problem is most of the people that get like caught into uh, this particular thing, they actually do not get a lot of benefit from any other choice in list at all. Like, dead ass. I, you can't find any actual... How does the AoE characters get it worse? All Omnivamp effects are nerfed by 8% for AoE. Like, all AoE abilities have less Omnivamp. Omnivamp is only 33%. That's it. 33% effective when dealing area of effect damage. So, AoE characters will just continually get less Omnivamp as it is. They only get a third of the changes that are involved here. So, it's actually even less overall. So, if you're someone that has AoE spells and you are relying on the Omnivamp for that, it's not worth it. Fuck, I didn't get a notification. I'm... I, see, wait, wait. Am I... Ooh, hang on. At the top again by accident. Am I showing a streaming here? I'm still not showing a streaming! What the fuck, Discord? Why? Why does Discord keep doing this to me? I'm still not showing a streaming on my fucking Discord client. Did I really miss the patch note review? Part of it? <sighs> Come get some! Thank you, Amon Rio, for the 27 months. 
Good night, Red. Got to get up early tomorrow. Just want to say, no worries, bud. Hope you're doing good. Big love. Big love. You're awesome. Thank you. Thank you. But yeah, if single target only is like, this is like the only time Ravenous Hunter is going to still be worth it. But if you're a character that has like an item item use in your build, D Lord, maybe reeling Twitch Discord. I might. I might have to do that again. See, I really thought if that if that relink Twitch and Discord thing wasn't so busted up, then like, why the hell, like, why am I still got access to my? Wait, maybe I don't. Hang on. No, I do. It still says I'm still listed as a subscriber in my own Discord, which is a bit odd considering I'm still linked to my own Discord. But then again, maybe it's something different. Oh fuck, I'll just relink it later. Is Gordrick dead now? Well, see, with this ingenious hunter change, I maybe you'll still use it again but now i've already done the whole spiel about gordrick i want you to think about this as soon you ready i'm gonna give you some ideas i'm gonna give you this idea you ready 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 look look into my eyes right gore drinker and ravenous hydra together you're welcome <laughs> uh Oh yeah, Katarina. <laughs> yeah, you delete that. <laughs> he deleted it. I love it. Oh, best angry face ever. But yeah, truthfully, I, I'm I'm expecting stupidity. That's all. That's all I'm expecting is some borked ass shit to happen. Is all I'm expecting, chap. Uh, spin to win. All right, but yeah. Maybe, like, if your character is able to use, inge like, has items that work with Ingenious Hunter, I think it's time to pull it out. I think it's looking like a pretty fucking good idea. I'm back, how the fuck are we not on preseason, what the fuck? I got sidetracked by Gore Drinker and Lux changes. Do what you wish I've already won. Good. Alright, bug fixes. Still haven't fixed the movement thing. That sucks. Following abilities will now trigger spell effects such as Luden's Tempest or Mira Mana when dealing damage. It doesn't at the... F what? What? Wait. These don't trigger Mira Mana? Really? Allow these W didn't, tri didn't trigger Mira Mana? Shit. Well then. Oh yeah, and HP shard calculations. Right, yes, 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 yes. Yes, that too. They they didn't cut Gore Drinker at all, no. Although I should never build it. You think I'm not going to try it? But honestly, it'd be pretty good on uh, on Alawi. Just but the problem is it's a it's a luxury item. It's one of those it's one of those problems with Alawi. It's like Alawi's got all these really great items that will work, but they're all luxury items. So like you don't really get good things. I think Grass J4 is better. Get out of my chat. Just I'm deleting that. You don't, you don't have rights here. You just don't. Also, that friend of yours was supposed to send me, like, this, like, massive paper on why, like, why, like, you know, uh, what was it? Grass J4, amongst other things, was a good idea. He never delivered, by the way. Your mate actually never delivered. I'm so mad. He's still typing? <laughs> oh, shit. He's still, he's supposed to finish a psych paper, not, not harangue me for his crappy choices. He's actually going, like, super in-depth. Do I have to read this out on stream? Do I have to dismantle the poor child on stream? Is that what you're telling me? Because I will. I'll do it. Why not? We spent like five hours one day theory crafting J4 builds. Sounds great. But yeah, like, just, I want everyone to understand, right? This Mira Mana thing, I want everyone to understand that Mira Mana has really good benefits to a lot of characters, right? And Mira Mana is really, really good for that. But the problem, above all else, right? is that it's just a luxury item that you can't really get a lot of like joy out of if you're not if it doesn't like somehow fit into your build or replace a core item in your build so that's like unfortunate all right fix the bug where gangplank q still healed extra sag uh while well, we can now properly sense low enemies who took damage while he was dead Kindred's Wolf has been fixed to animate while, with lamb while emoting. Singer's voice, voice lines have been based around Sarah and Cleaner. I mean, I mean great. Singer's spell effects have gotten a major visual update for several of her skins, including base. Oh, well, there you go. Well, I don't know why this is listed. It should be somewhere else, but that's okay. <clears throat> Shard of Drew Ice will correctly reduce minion gold if its user has far more than 20 minions in 5 minutes. 
Uh, there's not a lot of changes here. Yeah, no, nothing. Alright. Truth Dragon Yasuo, Dream Dragon Yasuo. There are two Yasuo skins? Disgusting. Steel Dra Oh, Steel Dragon Thresh looks mint. Duality Dragon Volley Bear? What the f... Anyway. Tranquility Dragon Karma Lee. Lagoon Dragon Kaisa. This is a real skin. Okay. And then Duality Dragon Volley Bear Prestige Deal. Oh my lord. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. I just want to say Tide Pod Kaiser is great. <laughs> yeah, you're onto something there. They're both legendaries? Wow. I swear to God, that's why I lost with Looters Trotter. Why on earth would you ever go Looters? Actually, you know what? Don't answer that. Volley Prestige is fucking mint looking though. Where's the in-game one for Volley Bear? Wait, the... It's not showing here. What the fuck? What the fuck? Well, I'm pissed. But yeah, still, still Dragon Thresh is fucking art, dude. That's mint. Looks like a Dark Souls boss. Fuck it, eh? I want that. I don't even play Thresh, and I want to make him into a fucking fighter champion. Give me that noise. Give me that. 